lot of you have been bitten by mosquitoes, but a lot of you may not have been. I don't think I've ever been bitten by one, at least by my knowledge. But is there a reason, to my knowledge, Phil? What? But is there a reason why certain people uh, seem to attract them more than others? Uh, some, cert some recent uh, scientific uh, research indicates that it may be more... Uh, more indicative on who you are on a gene level. Part of the answer is always sometimes you probably are getting bit. People like you probably have been bit, but your skin just doesn't react. You're not like allergic to their saliva, oh. so you don't get that itch. So they're just sucking your blood, and you're like, All right, peace it's out. It's definitely possible know. it's happened, and yeah. I didn't notice. That's that's probably because the case, and I that blows my mind. <laughs> but it's it's something that people have studied time and time again. They basically found that if you are pregnant, you're more likely to get bit. If you're overweight, more likely to get bit. If you are drunk, more likely to get bit. And they actually don't know why that happens. But they do know that if you have a few beers, you will get bit more by mosquitoes. There was a study with a identical twins and fraternal twins that were put into the same situations uh, where they would be, you know, subjected to the same level of chemicals and also subjected to the same level of mosquitoes and to measure what the biting was. And what they found was the, the so identical basically twins the basically identical did twins have... Had the same exact amount of similar. attractiveness similar to, okay, similar. To, yeah. to the mosquitoes versus the fraternal twins who, you know, they were studying a little bit of the nature versus nurture. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're not going to trust anything we say after that. No, but, but, still. <laughs> no, but I, I think it's basically what they found is about 67% of it comes down to your genes. Mm -hmm. So you can't control it. The other 33% could have to do with how often you're bathing. Um, your skin microbes, I think that's something that everybody has a microbiome. You have billions of little cells living on you, inside you. Like the gut flora. The, yeah. yeah, the gut flora is a great example, but also your skin, skin is covered in stuff too, and they're all releasing these different chemicals, and mosquitoes can cue in on that. For a mosquito to find you, they use three things. They use your temperature to find you, they use your CO2 that you're emitting, and then when they get closer, they will smell those types of chemicals that come off your skin. So your, your genes, smells. do they influence your, your, your flora and your bacteria, and then that's what's it's, connecting it's to the mosquitoes? Because what your genes can create in your sweat, let's say what you naturally exude, mm -hmm. will affect what microbes are living on there as well. So if they're like feeding on certain things or not. So it, it's obviously this complex thing that happens between what goes inside, what comes out, what you're sweating out, and then how the microbes interact with that. They're really fascinating creatures. I mean, we don't give them credit, and I believe hell is a dark room with a mosquito Whoa. in it. I, I can't, you know, I will kill them on sight, but they are really interesting. There's like 2,700 species of mosquitoes. Some of them in the salt plains, for example, will travel 40 miles in order to go get food, get a meal mm -hmm. to go, and, and sucking blood is very uh, important to the life cycle of a mosquito because it gives them the proteins needed for the females in order to have, you know, produce the eggs. Mm -hmm. So it's something that is medically interesting. I mean, this article was all about, like, why do you get bit? And it's then more it's, about us than them. Exactly. But it is really interesting as far as the study goes because we, again, are trying to understand the diseases and how they spread and you know the pathogens and why they are biting some people and not others. Yeah, right. this story is bigger than just getting bit by mosquitoes at a picnic or something like that. Mm -hmm. This is this has big global implications. Mosquito is the deadliest animal yes. in the world. Yeah. It's killing I mean it's affecting millions of people around the world with malaria, with dengue, with yellow fever. All those things are transmitted by mosquitoes. So the more we understand why they're attracted to us the more we can do to try to prevent them from biting people in areas where they're carrying things like malaria. Massive deadly diseases. Yeah. Um, I'm curious about you, you're an entomologist, yeah. you're with bugs a lot. Do you get bitten by mosquitoes frequently? No, I mean I do in certain areas. I wouldn't say I'm an attractor. I've definitely been next to some people that just get swarmed by mosquitoes and I'm kind of thankful for that. They're all like, going that way instead of sticking around here. <laughs> and you're like, but, I'm not drunk or pregnant. But yeah, I do. I'm not drunk. Well, maybe. Uh, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm not pregnant, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, there definitely have been, I've worked in the field a lot and I've worked in places where there are mosquitoes everywhere and to be an entomologist, lots of times I'm sitting and waiting with my camera and you can't be swatting at things, you can't be making noises, so you're just getting eaten alive. Mm -hmm. I'm going to southern Florida to do some butterfly work in a couple months and everything they have told me about where I'm working, they say you have to cover up everything and grow out your beard. They tell me this is a functional beard 
there have been times on the field where I've grown out my beard to prevent mosquitoes, and I've popped my collar to oh, do that. So I just jerk. feel like the biggest jerk in the world. But I'm like, <laughs> I'm doing it to prevent mosquito bites. Uh, I swear. And you're wearing all white. And, uh, oh, totally. You're wearing all white. Oh, yes. What a jerk. It's awful. Ah. It's awful. I'm glad I met you when you weren't doing that. <laughs> um, so in conclusion, what we're getting to is somewhat uh, mosquitoes might be attracted to you based on things you can't control, based on your personal um, well your genes affecting your microbiome, affecting your attractiveness to mosquitoes. Um, but maybe there are some things you can do to protect yourself, like grow a beard and dress like a douche. Let us know below in the comments how you feel about this. Have you been bitten by mosquitoes? Do you find a way of deterring them? And please be sure to subscribe for more.